All right, uh, yesterday, in my previous daily Half-Life 3 update video, I had asked for questions for you guys, and now in this video, I will answer them. Uh, I know, usually, I will just put the answers in the other update video, but I don't know. I think like this will be easier uploading two separate things instead of one big thing. So, I'm just going to read them right off my phone, comment section, just go down through the line. Uh... Jahan Jahani asks, how do you find the will to do this every single day for years? Uh, force a habit, I mean. You know, it's like you wake up, you brush your teeth. For me, it's I film an update, upload it, go to bed. Just simple. Uh, Tenno asks, if Half-Life 3 is ever announced... How difficult do you think it will be to break the habit of posting an update every day? Honestly, uh, this is the best question I feel like I was asked in this entire video. And I haven't gotten to all of them yet, but I was looking through them earlier and I was like, this is this was a really good question. I had not thought about that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like once I'm not doing these anymore. I've been doing them for so long it feels, and it's become such a part of my life. It'll be very strange. It'll be like a new chapter once I no longer have to do these anymore. I don't know. Uh, Big Chonky asked, why did you decide to start doing these? This is one that I've answered before. I've answered a lot of these before. I have done Q&A videos, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, I really, I wanted stuff on my channel, just like just content, so I decided. So for some reason, I decided to do this. Uh, it, I was. It was always inspired by like end of the world you know, or zombie or you know, apocalypse movies or shows, where there'd be a character in front of, uh, would sit in front of a camera and they'd be like, "It's been 234 days since the zombie outbreak," and blah 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 blah. That that kind of inspired me. Uh, Pedro Alim asked, did anyone ever tell you that you kind of look like Gordon Freeman? Uh, I don't see it, uh, but some of the people watching the channel have, have, uh, I've seen people mention it. Uh, the Time Splitters channel asked, if and when a Half-Life 3 gets released, do you think it'll live up to your own personal expectations of the game? Uh... I think probably I don't have a lot of expectations for the game. Uh, the only expectations, so to speak, that it could disappoint were would be like if it were to break some of the you know unspoken rules of Half Life. I suppose like if it wasn't first person, or if it wasn't you know a first person shooter, or if Gordon Freeman talked, you know if if Half Life Three was a third person RPG open world I wouldn't like that no one would like it so I feel like I don't think I feel like they're smart enough to know not to do that and besides besides that like besides the basics all I really care about is story I mean I don't I don't need like graphics or gameplay I've always f figured that they should just I would be fine if they just released Half-Life 3 on the Source engine. I mean, you don't even need to put it on Source 2. Just, I'd be fine with like the Source engine and just the standard graphics you had in Half-Life 2. I'd be fine for fine with me. All I really care about is the story. But yeah, uh, Bit4K asked Portal 3 before Half-Life 3. I, I, I can definitely see that as a possibility. I don't know if it will be Portal 3, just like how we got Half-Life Alex and it wasn't Half-Life 3. But I think... What some people may not need to realize is the next big Half Life, the next big Valve game that's coming out is not going to be Half Life Three. After Half Life Alex, we're going to get uh, we're going to keep getting uh, VR games, and even if it is a Half Life game, it won't be Half Life Three. It'll be something smaller, expansion similar to Blue Force or the you know, Blue Shift, Opposing Force, Decay. So it'll be something like that. It'll be like a spin off. And then you have the potential of getting uh, VR games in existing properties, like you could Left 4 Dead, Portal, Team Fortress. And then you also have the potential of VR games for new 
titles, like new new projects, so not based on something else. So those three things, they all contribute to delaying Half-Life 3 now, because Valve isn't going to want to just jump into Half-Life 3, it's going to want to do other things and build towards Half-Life 3. Uh, it could be a while to, to Half-Life 3, but I feel like getting content from Valve in general is good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Mega P4CM4N asked, when is my birthday? Uh, it, it already happened. You missed it. So, that gives you some context. It's before December 25th. Uh, Ica Fall. Will we ever have a augmented reality half-life in the real world? I don't know what that would be like. That's not something that I experience. I feel my experience with augmented reality, which I don't have any, it's just like I know of it. I like see videos of it. It seems very like cheap. I mean, I don't, maybe I'm just, maybe I just don't know, but it's like, you know, you hold your phone up and you look at your phone and there's the thing that pops up in the world and it makes like, it seems silly. Like the whole Pokemon Go of it. I don't know. It doesn't seem like anything for me. I mean, we could see it. I, I don't know. It doesn't sound like something Valve would do. Uh, S1S, are you an employee at Valve preparing us? Can you see in the future? I wish I was an employee at Valve. I mean, do they need, like, I could be, like, a janitor or something. I know I don't have any technical computer stuff, but, I mean, if you need, like, a janitor or something, I, I would do that. I would have to move to wherever Valve is located. I want to say Seattle. Maybe that's Bethesda. I don't know. Uh, can, you, can you see in the future? I can't see in the future, but I do believe I have dreams of the future at times. So, take that. Do with that what you will. Uh, if, and, oh, uh, Paul Trujillo asked, if Half-Life 3 gets released, will you please continue to give updates? Uh, I don't know. I, I might honestly do something, like, a do, do a different thing. I might do updates for a different thing. I might switch straight to Half-Life 4. That would depend on Half-Life 3. If Half-Life 3 comes out and it's, like, a definitive end, to the Half-Life story, I wouldn't do Half-Life 3. Because I'm only doing Half-Life 3 because Half-Life 3 is expected. Because it's been teased now twice. It was teased with Episode 2. Half-Life 2 Episode 2. And it was teased with Half-Life Alex. So Half-Life 3 is expected. That's the only reason I'm doing it. So if I were to do updates, it would have to be updates that were expected. I don't know if I would do updates about Half-Life 3 post, post the game coming out. Maybe like a little bit after. Like talking about... You know, some of the reviews, some of the reception, maybe updates or something, maybe. I mean, like, updates within the game, you know, like, software updates, but potentially. Uh, Luca2000, if Half-Life 3 comes out, are you going to stop making these videos? Again, I, I don't know. I'm going to play that by ear. Oilage asks, do we live in a simulation? Uh, I don't think so. Uh... Okay, Potatoes and Trucks. What if Valve makes a sequel to Half-Life 2 and it's not named Half-Life 3? Will this count as Half-Life 3? Will the daily Half-Life 3 update be over? I'm getting a lot of that question. Like, will this be over? Oh, that's weird. Uh, if Valve makes a sequel to Half-Life 2, I'm going to consider it Half-Life 3. Because when I say Half-Life 3, I mean a, a continuation of the Half-Life story post-Half-Life 2 following Gordon Freeman. So, many people could view Half-Life Alex as Half-Life 3. It is the big it is it is the third big Half-Life game. Uh you have Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Half-Life Alex. It is the third one. Just like Phantom Menace was the fourth Star Wars movie. This is the Half-Life Alex is the third Half-Life movie, but it's not Half-Life 3. So if they decide to call Half-Life 3 something else, I would still consider it Half-Life 3. I mean just like Thor the Dark World is Thor 2. You don't call it Thor 2, but it's still the second Thor movie. Yeah, that was a weird comparison. Uh, lit on. How do you stay motivated to continue the videos every day? I feel like I answered this in the beginning, you know, force of habit. 
Uh, Chaz's video asks, what is your opinion on the Citadel project that Valve is working on? Oh, uh, I haven't heard much about that. I, I know it's VR. I'm sure if you, I'm sure there's some like news network Valve related thing that I could find on information, but I just haven't had the time. Uh, it, I would be interested to see what it's about. Uh, I still don't have VR, so I won't be able to play it, but, you know, maybe sometime down the line that uh, $600 stimulus check comes in, and I'll be, I'll be rolling in it. Uh, Fuzzy Leo asked, I need to catch up on updates for Half-Life 3. Which daily updates do you re recommend I look at? Uh, I do have a playlist on my channel, uh, Best of Half Best of Hazard Time. It has, you know, the best updates that I've done. The ones that aren't just 30 seconds, there's no news, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and beyond that, if you just scroll through my page, and if, you see a vi and if you see an update that's a minute long or two minutes long, or, you know, I've done the ones that are like 15 minutes long. If you see a long update that's more than 30 minutes, chances are I talk about something. Maybe I talk about Half-Life 3, maybe I talk about Halo 6 or Star Wars. I talk about something. And so that that would be your best bet. But maybe start with the playlist. I I might update that playlist a little bit. I don't know if I put day one thousand on that update, but I definitely peaked with day one thousand. Uh, Dave Boyo asks, "Have you ever heard the definition of insanity?" Uh, I too have played Far Cry Three. Hitchy Baby, hey Hazard, do you want to play some Vermitude 2 on PC? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't do multiplayer, so if that's what that is, I mean, if it's like a single player game, if the story is interested, I might play it, but if it's multiplayer, I don't really care all that much. AMG, when was the last time you played Half-Life? Uh, Half-Life, I don't know. I'm, I've, I've only played it once. And that was like very recently. I started, I first played Black Mesa and then I went back and did like a, did a thing about playing Half-Life, the original. Uh, that was sometime, what was that? I don't know if that was this year or last year, but it was one of, one of these two years. Uh, my Kante France asked, "What YouTube videos are you into currently?" Uh, not much. Uh, Austin McConnell. I will. I'll always check out what he does when he puts something out. I think maybe there's still some of you around there from there. I did actually know of this guy before he shouted me out. He had his video up about the movie Primer and the director Shane Carruth. I'm a big fan of both those things. So that's where I first saw him. I mean, I saw that video, I didn't, like, subscribe to his channel or anything, and then he gave me that channel, I was like, oh, wait, this is the same guy from that video I watched earlier, so I, I'll still check his stuff out every time. Uh, I've been a fan of pretty much it for a while, a long time, actually, back when they were doing the Friday show every week, and now they're just doing video, they're just doing movie commentaries, and I don't really have, like, the time or the money to, you know, watch the commentaries. So they just have previews, which is still funny enough to watch. Uh, Rosek. Uh, what's the worst half... Asked, what's the worst Half-Life game? Uh, that would probably be Hunt Down the Freeman. Okay, if Half-Life 3 comes out, will you stop or continue and perhaps... Or will you stop or continue and perhaps talk about upcoming update, new mods, etc.? I already mentioned that previously. To talking about like updates, I could potentially continue until it's kind of died off. You know, once Valve has moved on to other things. Uh, Yazuk, why are you doing this? What's the key to your determination? Uh, force of habit again. Kyle is cool. How has quarantine life been for you, Liam? Any triumphs, failure, or has it been uneventful? Uh, it's weird because I'll admit that 2020 hasn't been as bad for me as it has been for other people. But then on like the other side of it, 
2018 and 2019 kind of sucked. So 2020 was, you know, I went into 2020 thinking like, oh, everything's gonna, everything's gonna be turning up Millhouse, and it didn't kind of turn out that way. And so there was stuff that I was supposed to do in 2020 that I didn't get to do, and you know, so it's it, it's like this weird. It's just like this weird thing where like I don't have much to complain about, but it still kind of sucks because the last couple of years sucked. So uh, Royal Clomdis asked, "How was your position at White Forest? Also, did any precious antiques survive the sawmill? I mean, it's nothing sacred. Uh, I don't. I haven't. I haven't checked." On the sawmill, that's kind of like a, a different department. Uh, I'm, re I'm really just focused on what I do here, and we've been quarantined here for a while, so I haven't really made contact with any of the other departments. But, you know, it, it is what it is. The hours aren't the best, but the pay is decent, and internet connection always, always helps. Uh... Paul the Fonz asked, Do you want me to give you an excuse to plug your Patreon? No thanks. Uh, Jin Pan Feather asked, Have you read the script for The Modern Ocean? I read a little bit of it. It doesn't... It's, you know, it's not the same for me, watching something, as it is, like, reading something. So, I would hope that, like, somebody makes like bootlegged modern ocean or something i don't know uh maybe i'll maybe i'll read it eventually it's kind of sad it's also it's also kind of sad because like okay this thing's definitely never going to come out and he may never make another movie which would be extremely disappointing but uh lambda signal asked is there ever a missing episode to these daily updates no I have never missed a day in the entire time I've done this. I've it's perfect. I've been, I've been perfect the entire you know X number of days I've done this. Not at all. Uh, Mr. Mike asked, "Are you secretly keeping the only copy of Half Life Three uh, until day three three thousand three hundred thirty three?" What do you plan on doing once Half-Life 3 is fully released? Uh, if I was keeping... If I had a copy of Half-Life 3, episode of, of Half-Life 3, I would release it. I would not be dragging this out. I mean, come on. Uh, what... I don't have any plans for when Half-Life 3 is released, because I still see that fall off into the distance uh, at the earliest... I think the earliest we could realistically see Half-Life 3 would be 2028. That seems a little early to me. If I was putting money right now, I would almost say 20, 2033, because, you know, it's two threes. So, I mean, that's something they might play into that a little bit. But I earliest 2028, that's just kind of how I see. So I'm not, I'm not looking that far ahead. Uh, the Storm team asks, if the next Half-Life game didn't turn out to be Half-Life 3, would you be okay with that? Any thought on a Half-Life game, maybe in a different genre? Uh, well, the last Half-Life game wasn't Half-Life 3, and I was fine with that. Uh, so if the next Half-Life game is Half-Life 3, which isn't... I mean, if the next Half-Life 3... If the next Half-Life game isn't Half-Life 3, I would be fine with it, because that's what I think is going to happen anyway. I think... Citadel is going to be the next Half-Life game, and that's not Half-Life 3. Did I hear something about, like, Barney getting a Half-Life game? Blue Shift 2? I don't know. Uh, Half-Life game in a different genre? I would like that a lot. That's something that I was hoping we would get. At, I mean, that I'm hoping we get at some point. I feel like you have a very large world that you can utilize in here. Uh, you don't have to kind of focus on this, you know, European city. That, that we're kind of dealing with all this City 17 stuff. I feel like you could really expl expand the universe and explore it into different areas. 
I think, like, aesthetically, too, because obviously the aesthetics of Half-Life 2 are so great, that Eastern European, Russian vibe or whatever, but... I would definitely like a Skyrim Fallout-esque third-person open-world RPG that takes place in, like, Japan or something. You know, a combine-occupied Japan or, or France or the United States. Something independent from the main Half-Life storyline so you could have this wealth of options and choices and gameplay that wouldn't, that wouldn't weigh too heavily and detract from the main storyline of Half-Life. Uh, Cam M asked, do you think Half-Life 3 is still being worked on? Uh, years ago, I remember some people said it was a skeleton crew of, like, three people. Also, do you think Half-Life Alex was the nail in the coffin for a potential sequel? Uh, no, I think it, it gave hope. Uh, Half-Life 3 is still being worked on. I've always kind of had it in my mind that there was always someone working on Half-Life 3. Like, throughout, throughout the years, there's been at least one person working on Half-Life 3, if they're like, you know, like typing code or designing, you know, drawing pictures, sketches, I've always felt that there's at least one person working on the game. Maybe that's not true, uh, but that's just always what I've felt. Okay. Zero the Norse asked, have you ever missed an update? Nope, I've never missed an update in the entire time I've done this. I don't know what you people are doing making these outrageous claims. And he also asked, is everything predetermined and we just experience time in a linear fashion? Yes. Uh, Kyle Schultz asks, why are you doing this? Uh, I'm doing this because yesterday I had asked for questions, so today I'm answering the questions, that's why I'm doing this. Mask Ninja asks, do you hear about the game Back for Blood? It's basically Left 4 Dead 3. It's made by the same employees who made Left 4 Dead 3. I've not heard of this. Uh, maybe I'll check it out. I haven't... Uh, I haven't played much of Left 4 Dead 2. I've never played one. I got Left 4 Dead 2 free one Christmas. I haven't played much of it. But, you know, it's not my cup of tea, but... Oh, boy. I feel like I'm getting... I hope I'm getting towards the end here. This is a long video. Uh... Tornado Nick asks, do you ever record these in advance in case you can't make one in time? If so, how far ahead or on what occasions? I have recorded ahead. I will do maybe like four or five episodes in a sitting just if, I, if I like need a break. I know one time I like kind of like shut off from internet completely. So I recorded a bunch and uploaded and hoped there wasn't any news. If I, if I don't know if I'm going to be uploading, able to upload, I will upload one, like, if I'm gonna be, like, leaving town, and I don't know if I'm, I don't know how the internet in the hotel will be or something, then I'll up, upload in advance. I haven't done more than, like, five at a time. It's, you know, it, it would honestly be more work to, you know, film 10 updates, to, like, film 30 updates, and upload them all to the computer, and make sure they're all properly scheduled out for the next 30 days. That seems like a lot of work on that day. This is the simplest, this is like the easiest, laziest option, what I'm doing right now. Uh, he also asked, uh, you don't seem to be a particularly big gamer type. Is this a wrong assumption, or do you have other habits, hobbies, or professions that you occupy yourself? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm a gamer. I mean, I, I may not be like other people's definitions of a gamer. I like video games. I like playing video games. I've never claimed to be good at them. Uh, I usually play the easiest setting on video games. I'm not opposed to using cheats or console commands. And I really more care about like story. I don't do multiplayer. I'm good at racing games apparently, you know, big whoop. But yeah, so I don't know if I really consider myself uh a gamer, but I mean, like, I also kind of do consider myself a gamer, because I play games. I mean, if you're, aren't you a gamer if you play games? I don't know. I don't know what the definition of gamer is. And the third question he asks is, did you ever see yourself coming this far when you originally started this legendary series three years ago? I don't, I don't remember back then. Like, I don't remember what was, like, going through my head or where I thought this would go. I just kind of, like, started, like, oh, this would be a 
good idea. I'll do this. And then um, here I am today. Oh uh, boy. Okay. Uh, Faru asked, why are you so obsessed about giving a daily update of a game that who know when it'll be released? Also, it'll be another FPS like every Half-Life, and Mark laid the religious story in form of an epistle. Sadly, that's the truth. Uh, okay. I don't know if about if I don't know if I'm obsessed with doing this. I mean, it's like I got a comment a, a, a couple days ago, maybe like a week or two ago, like, "Why are you wasting your life doing this?" Well, I'm not wasting my life doing this. Like the entire process of putting an upload, of putting an update on YouTube takes like five minutes at most. And I feel like I drag it out a little bit too. I could get it done in like two minutes, like a 30 second video update. Change change the number on the thumbnail and put the thumbnail on and throw it out. You know. So I'm not like wasting in my life. I'm not obsessed with this. It's, that feels like a weird... I don't know. Uh... Also, he says, like, it'll be another FPS like every other Half-Life game. Okay, what's your point? Half-Life 3 will be another first-person shooter. It'll be one of the best first-person shooters to come out that year. Just like Half-Life 2 is still one of the greatest first-person shooters of all time. You say another half, another FPS like it's a bad thing or something. Some of the greatest games ever made have been FPS. But, uh, and he mentions how Mark Laidlaw, which he spelled wrong, reveals the story in form of Episode 3. That doesn't matter, because Episode 3 is never going to happen. They're not going to use that story. When they make Half-Life 3, it's going to be a different story than what they had planned for Episode 3. So it's, it doesn't matter. You know, George Lucas had created plans for Star Wars 7, 8, and 9. You know, he, 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 he made those plans even before he made Phantom Menace, you know, like, I think he made those plans before he even made Return of the Jedi. He had, you know, Leia wasn't going to be Luke's sister, they were going to introduce the sister character in later, and they weren't going to have the Emperor show up until later. So, you can make plans and change things. I mean, I don't think he leaked this, the plot of a game that they're planning on making without their knowledge. He, I'm sure he reached out to somebody and said, like, hey, I'm going to do this. Like, oh, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. Uh, he's got three replies. Let's see what people replied to this person. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's all the questions. This was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Boy, about 30 minutes. Okay, uh, yeah. Thanks for thanks for watching, guys. Asking questions, and hopefully you stuck stuck around and listened to the answers. See you next time.